the old king and the young king. An old king here say them gonna put a young king in him place. The thing worry him and make him vex. He want for keep he throne. So he give order to he head man for make him soldier kill all the old people in the nation. So the young king shan't have no wise person for him help to carry out his business over the kingdom. The soldier take them gun, them club, and them massacre all the ageable people in the land. Then the old king send word to the young king what the people been pick out for old rule over them, that he must fetch him a fat hog, but he mustn't be either a sow hog, neither a boar hog, but he must be a fat hog. When the young king get the message, he return this answer. Tell the old king, say, me have a fat burrow in the pen. And him must come for him. But he mustn't come in the day, nor he mustn't come in, in the night. The old king, when he hear this message, make up his mind, say the young king must have a heap of sense, or else some wise man must have helped him. And he couldn't see how that could be. Because all the old and wise people in the nation didn't kill. He no been no that when the order give for destroy all the old people in the kingdom, the young king hide his father in one hollow tree. And so he make he escape from the soldier and been there for give his son some sins. The young king returns such a smart answer with the help of his father that the old king couldn't make out what time for going for that fat hog. And so he give up. And the young king, before long, come and turn him out and take his office. The old king and the young king comes from a book titled The Negro Myths from the Georgia Coast by Charles C. Jones. It was published in 1888. The origins of the story are traced to West Africa, specifically Ghana. And this story is republished, but in 1892, written by Joel Chandler Harris, who wrote the Uncle Remus and his friends, old plantation stories, songs, and ballads. Have a good day.